In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw the top follower guide for the mechanisms. Uh, this is the diagram we're given. Okay, if we look at the measurements, you'll be able to see that first of all, things to point out are that the circles, the radius has been marked on there, where normally we use the diameter. So these numbers here will need to double. Okay, so that'll become 3, that'll become 10, that'll become 3. Um, other things to notice that the drawing has been done from the circles first and then they've drawn the kind of outside. So if you look at the numbers, the way the actual the distances between things, it's all based off these circles. So when we draw these, um, we're going to start with the circles. We're also going to use a central line. That's what this little CL means here. OK, so let's get started on that. So in SOLIDWORKS, I want to start a new part. And from here, I'm going to start sketch. Now, because it's um, the top follower guide, I'm going to draw that on the top plane. Okay, it's just going to be easy for us to see what we're doing. And if we go over to where the line tool is, if I just click the little drop down box next to it, you'll see there's a option here for a center line. So I'm going to click on there, and I'm just going to draw. Just sort of, if I hover over the left here, I get uh, dotted lines. And so if I just left click and just go all the way through that center point, okay, to about there. All right, so I'm just drawing a line on either side of that dot, and there's my center line. Okay, so I can just go, uh, I'm just going to push the escape button on my keyboard now. Okay, and that's going to be a reference point for me drawing my circles. So let's start with this uh, large circle over here, which can have a diameter of 10 uh, on this side here. So up to my circle tools. Okay, and I'm going to start drawing um, really anywhere on that line will be fine. So I'm just going to start drawing there. Okay, and say okay. And I'm also going to draw, while I'm there, I'm going to draw some other circles. So let's just get the circles done. So I'm just going to put three circles in there, one that side, and one that side. Okay, so if I look down here, it's now saying underdefined. So obviously the next thing, once I've done some drawing, is to make sure that everything is defined and everything is okay. So I want to start with that center one there, and I'm going to need to tell the computer, but just by clicking on the line, sort of dragging away, that that's going to be um, a 10. Okay, uh, I'm now going to go over to here and measure this one. This one's going to be 3. And this one's also going to be 3 over here. All right. Now what I need to do is do the um, is do the distances between this. So make sure I'm still on smart dimensions. So I'm just going to go from the center point here. Okay. So if you hover over, you should get a little orange dot. And I want to hover over the orange dot there. And again, just sort of drag the mouse away. And the distance between these is 11.5. So type in 11.5. Okay. And I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. So from the center of that dot to the center of that dot, all the way down here. Again, 11.5. Okay. Now, at the moment, if I have a look here, it's still saying underdefined. So actually, I'm not too worried about that. It's saying it's underdefined because I've not actually given a distance from that L shape in the center. Okay. But I'm not worried about that. It's not going to stop us completing the task. So the next thing to do, if I look back at my drawing. Uh, so I've done these three over here. Now I need to do the next three over here. So it's exactly the same process. Uh, I need to make, just make sure that they're 40 between there and there. That's what's telling me up here. Okay, so let's go over here. And uh, so I'm going to draw my big circle over here. Uh, and I want, if I want to, I can smart dimension as I do every little bit. Okay, so I could say that's 10, which is already done there for me. Um, and now I want to do the 40 from there to the center. Okay, and now I can put the small circles in. There's going to be one here and one on the other side over here. Again, that's smart dimension. Both of those, these are going to be three. That's one. And the other side. Okay, so I've now done the six circles in the center. Oh, I need to still smart to mention these. I nearly forgot. So that's going to be from the center point there to center point there, 11.5. And from center point there, center point there, and again, 11.5. Okay, so I now have 
And they're all doing all those um, six uh, circles in the middle, and they're all the right size, and they're all the right distance from each other. Okay, so let's look back at my drawing. What's next? Well, the next part is to draw this rectangle that's going to go over the top. Okay, if I add up the numbers, so that's 30, 40, and presumably another 30, that's going to tell me that it's actually going to be 100 to this kind of inside bit here. Okay, so it's going to be 100 that way, and I'm told clearly it's going to be 20 that way. So let's go and draw that rectangle in. So draw the rectangle. Okay, so just uh, start up there, and just draw it across over the top of that. The key thing when you're drawing that is to just make sure that it does go over the top of the circles. Okay, so that's smart to mention that, so I'm going to say that this side here is going to be 20. And the top is going to be 100. Okay, now obviously you can see at the moment that's not central to the top and it's not central to the side. So let's have a quick look back at my drawing and see what it can tell me. Well, it's telling me here that this circle should be 30 from the side. So let's add that 30 from the side. And obviously as well, if I look at this, the circles, half of 20, they're going to have to be 10 from the top. So if I add those two dimensions in, so 30 from the side, 10 from the bottom, that should make it central for the position. Okay, so I'm still on smart dimensions, so let's go from the center of that dot there to the center of there. And let's say that's 10. Okay, so it's now central that way. And I now just need to say that the center of one of these large circles to the side, it doesn't really matter which side I do, is going to be 30. All right, there we go. So we're now bang in the middle of that. Okay, so now I need to work on the, the this little final part. The final part is these kind of what we call the finger joints on either side. Okay, now we're told that there's, there's two sticking out here, and then we're told that these are going to be four gaps. It's going to go four, 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 which obviously the five fours will add up to the 20. Okay, let's add that in. So we're going to do that just with using the uh, rectangle tool, and we're just going to draw one in there and one in there. Again, it doesn't, doesn't matter when you're doing too accurate because obviously the smart dimensions will get that all sorted. One dimension that's not mentioned on there is how wide these bits here are. Now obviously if you think about it, the depth of material we always use is three mil, so that needs to be three mil there. So if I just grab that, and see that's gonna be three mil. And I'll need to do the same with the other one. Okay, and now I can start doing the fours. So this is gonna be a four that way. This will be a four that way. Okay. Now, if I try and do the distance here or the distance there, obviously it's trying to do the whole line. So while I'm here, I'm actually going to use the trim and get rid of that bit there and there. So if I go up the top to trim entities, and when I trim entities, always make sure it's on the trim to closest. It's the bottom option there. So mine's already on there. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Sometimes you have to click twice. You should see it goes grey to be and it's recognised. Okay, so now I can go back to my smart dimensions and I can grab that section there and say so that's going to be four and this section here is also going to be four. Now, I won't do the last one. Okay, well, let's, let's just demonstrate. If I try and do the last one, okay, it should give me an error. There you go. Okay, because it knows that. I've told it on the other side that five that the total is going to be 20. If I've already done four fours, it knows that the fifth four, okay, is already going to be four, if that makes any sense at all. All right, so these this bit's all done. So now I just need to repeat the same process on the other side. So I'm just going to move across over here. Okay, so rectangle again. Draw one in there. And again, I can be it can be ridiculous if I want to. It doesn't matter. I could have one like that and one like that. It really doesn't matter because once I've put the smart dimensions on there and said, right, that's going to be uh, three that way. That's going to be three that way. All right, I'll let the computer kind of do all the, the accurate drawing for me by using the numbers. If when you're trying to get a dimension, okay, it's done this weird thing here. Mine's kind of locked in the middle. This light blue. If you just push the escape button, okay, it should let you be able to go back into it again and select it. Uh, so that should be four. This should be four. And then what I can do is I can trim um, the entities again. I'll make sure it's on the closest. Uh, double click on there. Double click there. Okay. Now you'll see there's also a line in there at the moment, but obviously that's just a measurement line, so I'm not worried about that. 
So back to my smart dimensions. Uh, this top bit here uh, is already on four because obviously it's, it's locked itself from the one across the way. This one was not done so. Okay, so I've now got four, 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 and I don't need to worry about the last one. Okay, so that's the drawing aspect done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go exit sketch. Okay, it's always quite a good idea to exit the sketch because you'll see if there's any extra lines or anything that you've missed out or any gaps like that if something's not working. Okay, the final bit before I can finish is to extrude it. So what I do need to do is make sure that that select one is highlighted. Okay, so if it's if it's not, just click on there once just so it selects it. And I'm going to go to features and then to extrude. Okay, you should see it goes like that. And I'm just going to change the extruding to three millimeters and say OK. All right. And once I've done that, I need to save this because this is going to f form part of my assembly. So let's go File, Save As. OK. Hopefully in your systems you've got a um, Camtoy folder. If not, make one. And this is called the Top Follower Guide. OK. And once you've saved that, you can screenshot that for the badge. Well done, if you've got that done.